there are much better tutorials online. I'm just going to make this go fizzy and look cool. <laughs> So this is the copper back for Yggdrasil, the great guitar build-off guitar. Um, I think I said a while ago, I want to etch something on it. I've been wanting to have a go at some etching for a while, and I've done bits here and there in the past. I kind of want to do something a bit bigger. So I've been having a play around to figure out how I can do this, and I need to put a pattern on here. So what I'm going to do is mask up the entire thing and use a scalpel to cut out what I want to etch. It's going to be interesting, uh, a bit of a challenge. There's going to be hours of drawing and cutting before I get anywhere near the hours of etching. Um, so I'm going to fast forward all of that. But basically what I'm going to use is sticky back vinyl, put that on here and then get started with the design. Um, what I want to do first is make sure it's really nice and clean though. now stuck on. Um, it's obviously not perfect, there's a few bubbles and some creases. Uh, it's not staying on, it's only a mask to stop me from etching the wrong bits, so I'm not too worried. However, I have got a newfound respect for those guys that wrap cars. Seriously, like, there's some skill there. Um, what I need to do is transfer my drawing onto here, which I have the start of here, and from that I've got lots of other little bits to add to it. Uh, when it's done, I'm going to cut it out. Basically what I need to do is leave whatever isn't going to be etched, and cut out whatever is going to be etched. So, if it's left high, it's left as the vinyl. If it's getting etched away, the vinyl's cut away. Which means that any of the bubbles that I've got kind of around the edges of my cuts I can smooth out and stick down properly later. Um, yeah. This is going to take a while. Well, I might mark on a centre line first. my drawing. It's all 
drawn in in Sharpie and I've started cutting it out so basically wherever is black on here I need to cut out. So I've started here and I'm going to just work my way around and it's going to take me even longer than it did to draw the thing. the mask entirely cut out so everything that's exposed to copper now is what's going to get etched. Um, to do that I need some electricity. So I've set up a little power supply here and a little plug to go in. I did et etching, no, I did plating for last year's Great Guitar Build Off and I said something about the anode and the cathode and positive and negative and which way round they go. My memory's rubbish, so I got all this figured out and I've attached one wire to a pair of pliers which is what I'll hold my uh, salt water solution uh, and a little pad on to do the etching and the other end is connected to the workpiece itself. Um, basically whatever I said last year, it's the opposite way around for this, so one way to uh, add material, the other way to take material away, it's pretty simple really. There are much better tutorials online, I'm just going to make this go fizzy and look cool. So basically I want some, I'm going to use kitchen roll because I'm going to go through quite a lot of it. So I've got some kitchen roll in the pliers there, I've connected the other end to the back of the workpiece. This is just salt water that I've mixed up. It's a bit grubby because I used it on a test piece. And all we need to do is connect up the power, soak that in the salt water. apply and you should if there's a decent uh, connection between the positive and negative start to hear it fizz after a little while and that means it's working there we go also, the fumes aren't particularly great, so you should probably do this in a well-ventilated space. some hours, quite a lot of them. I did etch quite a lot of it, I got the majority of the important bits done and then I burned out my power supply. So I went and got another one and it was 9 volts instead of 12 volts and eventually I kind of got all the way around and that was a bit slower. It wasn't a particularly deep etch so I kind of thought, well, what else can I do to make this work? So I lightly seasoned the copper with salt and vinegar, and I covered it in some kitchen towel, and I left it for about 24 hours. Came back, and it lightened up where I'd etched it, and done some weird things. And then I realised that it's the fumes from vinegar, really, that do most, not actual vinegar. So I suspended the top upside down over some vinegar for about another 30 something hours. Um, and I've just rinsed it off and dried it off. I was tempted to try some bleach on it to darken the copper even more. But then I remembered that I'd covered it in vinegar and if you mix vinegar and bleach it makes really nasty stuff like chlorine gas. 
and I don't really want to risk not having cleaned all of the vinegar off and killing myself. It's not really on my list of things to do this week. Um, so basically what we've got is this. It's going to be quite subtle, but it should, when you get it in the right light, stand out. So what I need to do now is peel off this plastic mask and see what we're left with. I haven't seen it yet. This is quite exciting. <laughs> looks entirely different to the image I had in my head, but even cooler. <laughs> 